I said, now you won't have this when you fly back home. That's right. That's right. You, I'm going to make you understand that God gets you where you got to be. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Do you understand? Hallelujah. I was, I was on one flight going somewhere to preach the gospel, and there was a woman there, and uh, she engaged me in conversation, and man, that flight was rough. That flight was rough, and uh, uh, that plane hit air pockets, and I grabbed the arm of my chair. My hands were sweating so bad, you would think it had its own pond. <laughs> and the woman, and, and she began to find out I was a preacher, and when that plane dipped and, and up and down, and some folks in back of her started hollering, she turned around, she said, oh, I'm not scared now. I'm sitting with the preacher. I looked at her and said, I can't help you. I can't help you now. Lord, thank God. Amen. Preacher, preacher, or no preacher. That's right. I wanted that plane to stop like anybody else. That's right. And me being a preacher had nothing to do with it. That's right. I want the people of the truth of God around the world always keep God first in all things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Huh? That's right. Don't ever get exalted in Pastor Jennings. No. Don't ever, ever give me the honor that only is due God. That's right. Amen. Yeah, they that labor in word and doctrine is worthy of double honor. Double. And stop right there. Right there. Don't tell Amen. Somebody, well, I'm praying to Pastor Jennings. Listen, when you testify, you don't recognize me first. No. That's insulting to heaven. That's right. You recognize the Lord Jesus Christ first. That's right. Maker of the world. That's right. Maker of the universe. That's right. Maker of man. Do you get what I'm talking? That's right. So I said, God, I don't want you ever to fall in the same predicament. Because when you go that direction, you're starting to go towards cultism. That's right. Oh, yes, you are. That's right. Thank God every, every power that God put in me, I'm a labor to keep holiness holy keep and holy. keep the church, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. So only God can be lifted and God can be praised. That's right. I won't allow no one, amen, to make songs about me. Wonderful. I don't know. I won't allow no one to even make poems about me. That's right. I don't want that. No. Amen. Whatsoever ye do in word, in deed, do all. do all. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That's it. Do you get what I'm telling you? For I say through the grace given unto me. These are the last days. Hallelujah. Glory to God, and it's regardless of seeing the vision That's come to pass and the work of God take place. Don't look at me. That's Keep right. your eyes on God. That's it. Huh? That's right. Here comes the apostle Peter. God told him, whatever you bite on earth, right. I'll bind in heaven. in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth, I loose in heaven. That's it. But when Peter took his eyes off God, yeah. took his eyes off Jesus, where he was walking on water, he sunk. That's right. If you take your eyes off heaven That's it. and just look at me, That's right. you're going to sink. Oh, yes. Are you getting this? Amen. The world Hallelujah. got the look of the Jesus. That's right. The author. And finish. And finish. Of our faith. Of our faith. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Looking unto Jesus. And looking unto Jesus. The author. It doesn't matter how much God used me. It's true. I'm not walking on water. That's right. It doesn't matter, matter how much God used in me. I wasn't crucified for you. That's right. It doesn't matter how much the Lord used me. I'm not turning water into wine. No, I'm no. I'm simply a servant. That's it. Sent to serve the king. That's right. All of us ministers are servants. That's it. And we got to give our life for the king. That's it. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Go back. Thank God. Got to bell the dragon. Back in bell and Amen. the dragon. Amen. I, I have to buy the Holy Ghost. Make sure that I keep the church in order. That's it. Keep the church in Bible order. That's right. Amen. Don't get caught up in nothing and Preach it. nobody Hallelujah. but heaven. Hallelujah. That's right. Ah! That's right. Amen. Wonderful. Don't get caught up in nothing and nobody 
but Jesus the Christ. That's it. Thank God Himself. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Bell and the dragon. I'm warning you. Amen. I'm warning you now. Oh yeah. And God is my job to bring your attention to what the scripture says. That's it. And every God sent man will inform the people the importance of keeping God first. Yes, staying in the place where God wants you. Right. And don't you ever put no man next to God or equal to God. That's right. I declare to the world, That's right. God have no rivals. No rivals. No rivals. Not one. Oh no. I say God have no rivals. No rivals. Amen. So when the preachers tell the people, when the ministers tell the people, listen, Pastor Jennings is not God. They're not disrespecting me. No. They're telling you the truth. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. They're telling you the truth. Amen. We don't want nobody. Amen. Uh, Sometimes where people appreciate this so much. They put more honor on you than the Bible. Right. Uh, there's uh, folks that used to comment on social media. Pastor Jennings is the truth. No, I'm not. No. God is the truth. That's right. Amen. By God's permission, we preach the truth. That's it. But only God can be called the truth. The truth. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. Amen. All right, son, come on. Bell and the Dragon, chapter 1, now we're at verse 6. All right. Then said the king unto him, think Then said the king, said unto, the him, king unto him, Thinkest thou not that Bell is a living you God? You see, if I don't set this in order moreover, God forbid if I die. That's very true. Some folk entire spirit hang in their thinking on the living of Pastor Genesis. That's right. Let me make this plain. If your so-called Holy Ghost hmm. hang on my life, hmm. you going to hell now. That's right. You are already lost. That's right. Your life, your thought, your walk, yeah. your talk, your wish up yeah. must hang on heaven That's right. and heaven alone. That's right. Glory to God, did you get what I'm talking? That's right. Nobody wish up, nobody praise should hang on me. No. Because my praise ain't hanging on you. Oh, my no. praise gonna hang on heaven. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Heaven is responsible for us being here. That's right. Not me. When no. I tell you about the vision that God gave me, I'm telling you about the vision that God gave me. That's it. God gave it. Right. I didn't conjure this up. No. God gave it. So you have to always give God the credit. Right. When I look at this PAC auditorium here in Canada, don't credit me. Yeah. You have to credit God. God was the one that showed me. That's right. You have to give God the credit. That's it. And all of your doing, acknowledge God. God in all your ways. In all your ways. And, and this preaching, many so called God sent preachers fail to tell the people this. Yes. As a result of such, there's many people right now, oh, yeah. they can't even feel the moving of the Holy Ghost that they claim they have yeah. until Bishop is in the building. That's right. Huh? That's right. I don't want no. Here, if, uh, if Elder Robinson was my bishop. Yeah. I don't want no whole, and he's living away in Jamaica, Amen. and I'm living in America. Yeah. I don't want no Holy Ghost that I cannot feel yes. until I see Elder Robinson. That's Not right. that. That's right. If any of you cannot feel the Spirit of God until you see Pastor Jennings, go back and tarry for the Holy Ghost like they received in Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost. That's right. Huh? That's right. If anybody ever say or ever think, Wonderful. you know, I haven't spoken in tongue in three years, but when I see Pastor Jennings, then I feel as though I can speak in tongue. You are the seed of the devil out of hell. That's right. Why you think the Holy Ghost is called Com comforter? comforter? Holy Ghost is called comforter. You need comfort when nobody is around. That's right. I need to feel, hallelujah, hallelujah. I need to feel the spirit of God when I don't see Brother Lionel and Brother Robinson and right. Brother Williams when I can't see Canada, right. when I can't see the American saints and them that is in Italy, but I can get hallelujah. comfort from heaven That's right. when I'm out there alone by myself. Hallelujah. I, hallelujah. hallelujah. I can get comfort. That's right. Why? Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost that is in me when I don't see nobody. That's right. It comforts me. Oh, yes. 
guide me through trouble. Oh, yes. Strengthen me when I'm weak. That's right. Build me up when I'm torn down. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to but God. the salvation of the righteous. Do you hear what the Bible says? In the book of Psalms 37 and verse 39. This is what the Holy Ghost brought here today. Psalms 37. And God knows this all right. That's right. What is it? Psalms 37 and verse 39. Come on, son. But the salvation of the righteous. Or the salvation. Of the righteous. Thank God of the righteous. Is of the Lord. What? But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. The salvation of the righteous. Is of the is Lord. Is of the Lord. He is their strength. Listen, when you see people coming to get baptized by the hundreds. Yeah. It's not because of me. No. It's because of God that speaks through us. That's right. Don't you know Jesus told his apostles? It's not you he that speaks. Speak. But the voice of my father. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, yeah, the voice of my father. Of my father. That speaketh in you. Speaketh in you. Speaketh in you. Speaketh in Church, you. credit the spirit. The spirit of your father. Church, look to the spirit. That's right. Church, serve the spirit. Go ahead. Church, walk with the spirit. Go ahead. Church, live to please the spirit. That's it. it you, this this That's is it. not a Jennings filled church. Go ahead, brother. This is a Holy Ghost. Spirit-filled church. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah! But the salvation but of the, the salvation of the righteous. Glory to God of the righteous. Is of the Lord. Is of the Lord. He is their strength. He. He is their strength. I'm not your strength. He is their strength. The Lord is your strength. In the time of trouble. In the time of trouble. And the Lord folks, shall help folks them. Say, I'm in trouble. I need to find Pastor Janus. No. You need to find Jesus. That's right. Huh? That's right. What am I going to do? I can't reach Pastor Jesus. You can reach Jesus. That's right. You can reach the Lord Jesus. That's right. Then you get what I'm telling you. But the salvation so of I the righteous. Ever, ever. Wonderful. God don't want it. And I don't want it because God don't want it. That's right. Don't you ever. Wonderful. Amen. Put more honor Wonderful. on my mere flesh than you would on heaven. And the Lord shall help them. Give chapter and verse again. Psalms 37, now in verse 40. The Lord. And the Lord shall help Lord them. God will help them. And deliver them. Who going to do it? And the Lord shall help them. And deliver them. Who going to do it? And the Lord shall help them. And Who going to do it, Canada? Who going to do it? Who is going to do it? If you're sick, who going to heal you? If you're weak, who will help you? If you're broken, who will put you together? The Lord will do it. The Lord shall help them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who art thou, Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. I'm Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want the world to understand this. We are pointing creation to Jesus. Hallelujah. That's what we're doing. Hallelujah. I ain't traveling all over the world by God's Hallelujah. help Hallelujah. to point you to me. Oh, no. I'm pointing you to the creator. That's right. Lord of heaven and earth. That's right. Salvation don't come through us. No, it no. comes from Jesus, through Jesus, by Jesus, because he's the Christ. But the salvation of the righteous. The it, salvation of the righteous. Of the righteous. Is of the Lord. Go and say, God is of the Lord. He is their strength. Hallelujah. He is their strength. He is. <laughs> their strength. He is their strength. In the time of trouble. In the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them. Who? And the Lord shall help them. Amen. So many folks say, you know, I've been trying to reach you for several months. I've been calling and emailing and all this. I got problems. I need help. Let me tell you something. It's much easier to reach the Lord God That's of right. heaven and earth That's right. than it is to reach me. That's right. It don't require no phone call. No. It don't require no text. That's right. It don't require no email. It don't require no pigeon carrier. It don't require nothing but a humble heart That's and it. drop on your knees oh, hey. and call on heaven. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Over to God. Hallelujah. All right, son. Back in the bell of the dragon, chapter one and verse Canada, six. Canada, is everybody all right? Come on, let's have it. Then said the king unto him, Thinkest mm -hmm. thou not that Baal is a living God? Seest thou not how much he eateth and drinketh every day? Now, the king said to Daniel, Thinkest thou see? not that Baal is a living God? You don't God? believe that Baal is a living God? Do you see how much he eateth and drinketh eat every day? and drank every day. Deception. Then, that's right. Nothing but deception. There ain't no statue eat like you find the Catholics out here. Oh, there's a Catholic statue of Mary. We saw her crying. Amen. She was bleeding from the eyes and from the nose. My That's Lord. a lie. That's a lie. Amen. The devil make a fool out of you and give you a lie to believe. That's right. Come on, son. Then Daniel smiled. <laughs> Amen. 
after the king said to Daniel, do you not think that this uh, my yep. God has eaten and drank and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Daniel responded was what? Then Daniel smiled. Yeah, he smiled. And you said, know why? He knew better. He knew better. Come on, Sam. And said, O king. O king. Be not deceived. Oh, listen, don't you be tricked like that. For this is but clay within. This is but clay within. And brass without. And brass without. And did never eat or drink anything. It did never eat or drink anything. But the king really thought that this statue was doing this. That's right. Listen at this. So the king was wroth and called for his priests. Yes. And said unto them, if ye tell me not who this is that devoureth these expenses, ye shall die. Now I want you to pay attention real good. Amen. They were bringing all these things, flour and all this, flour. before the statue of Baal. That's right. And then the things that people will bring, they'll be gone as if the image ate them. That's right. And consumed them. But there's always a way to trick somebody. <laughs> That's right. And they tricked the king thinking the king really thought that this dumb statue right. was eating all these sacrifices, right. all these offerings, like you folks that are watching. Right. You think by going to all these TV evangelists, giving all of this money, that you're going to get healed. That's right. You can give these TV preachers your whole life, Amen. your whole house, and your whole wallet. Healing comes from the Lord. From the Lord. Deliverance comes from the Lord. That's it. Come on, son. So the king was wroth. The king was upset. And called for his priests. Yes. And said unto them, If ye tell me not who this is that devoureth these oh, expenses, Daniel troubled the king. ye shall die. Man, he troubled the king. The king said, Listen, all right, priests, you better tell me who's eating up all this stuff. <laughs> That's right. And if you don't, I'm going to kill you. Ye shall die. I, I'm going I'm to kill you. You're going to kill. I'm going to kill you now. That's right. Because this stuff is being devoured by somebody. <laughs> That's right. Viewers. Listen at what I'm telling you now. Many of these preachers have hired people, throw them in wheelchairs. They went through uh, all type of practices before he came to your country or came to your city. He tell lies on God with his eyes closed and said, the Lord told me that there's $50,000 in his house. He act like he's hearing from heaven right away. Yeah. And some preachers went as far as putting the electronic devices in your <laughs> ear picking certain people's names who they know is in the congregation and get their staff to look up their medical background. Mm. And therefore, they, once they find your medical background, that's what enable him. Somebody sitting in the booth, Charles Williams, Williams is here. That's right. The Lord said, this is how cold-blooded, wicked he is and don't fear God. The Lord says, there's somebody in the house named Charles Williams. Stand on your feet. And Charles Williams jump up. <laughs> Charles Williams. You got a tumor that was just found uh, July 1st in your left leg. He like, That's right. Charles Williams, you suffering from sciatica. The one in the booth, he also got an ingrown toenail. <laughs> but because Charles Williams don't know God from the devil. That's right. He like billions of others. It's tricked because men and women don't have the fear of God and they'll do anything. Oh, yes. As long as they get that money so they can appear to be great. That's right. But all of you men and women that are deceiving the public by your worldly antics, you got to stand before God and the books will be open. Oh, yes. And when you found that you're not found in the book of life, he will cast you into hell. That's right. My God, man, I tremble at the very thought of using the Lord's name in vain. in vain. That's why we're crying out by God's help to the people. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. The same things the devil been doing year in and year out. Come on, son. So the king was wroth and Give called... Give chapter and verse now. Bell and the dragon, chapter 1 now at verse 8. Mm -hmm. So the king was wroth and called for his priests. And said unto them, if ye tell me not who this is that devoured these expenses. If you don't tell me who expenses, this is that's eating up all this stuff. Ye shall die. I'm going to kill you. But if ye can certify me that Baal devoured them. If you them, can certify. That Baal devoured them. That this image, Baal, done mm -hmm. ate up all this stuff. Then Daniel shall die. Then I killed Daniel. Look at here. That's right. 
Daniel versus Bell. Versus Bell. And God always stand with his people. That's right. Always. Listen at this. But if he can certify me that Bell devoured them, yes. then Daniel shall die. Then Daniel shall die. For he hey, you know the Lord was, wasn't going to let that happen. That's right. Be killed by some old false prophet, <laughs> a man who got more confidence in the idol than the God of Daniel. Come on now. For he has spoken blasphemy against Bell. Listen, Daniel has spoken blaspheme against, against Bell. Bell. I speak blaspheme uh, against these false prophets and idolaters. I, right. I speak blaspheme, blaspheme against them. Amen. When you say there's two gods, I speak against it. That's right. When you say flesh and blood is in heaven and you say I blaspheme. All right. All right. I say flesh and blood is not in heaven because the Holy Ghost said so. That's right. If you say Jesus Christ is not God and you say I blaspheme, I come along and tell you Jesus Christ is, is. the one true living God. That's right. So when I blaspheme by speaking against false doctrine and false worship, I'm doing just like Brother Daniel. That's right. Come on, son. But if he can certify me that Baal devoured them, then Daniel shall die. Yes. For he had spoken blasphemy against Baal. Uh -huh. and Daniel... Not that he spoke blaspheme against God or truth. No. He spoke blaspheme against wickedness. And Daniel said unto the king, Listen. Let it be according to thy word. Let this come to pass then. That's right. Let it happen. Let it happen. If he ate it, you kill me. Mm -hmm. Let it happen. Because Daniel knew his God will bring him out of it. That's right. Glory to God. Listen at this. Now the priest of Baal were three score and ten. Three score and ten. Beside their wives and children. Yes. And the king went with... That's a, whole lot of, that's a whole lot of priests. That's a whole lot of priests. Up against one man. That's right. Listen. And the king went with Daniel into the temple of Baal. Yes. So Baal's priest said, Lo, we go out. We go out. But thou, O king, set on the meat and make ready the wine. Yes. And shut the door fast and seal it with thine own signet. Now signal. get this. The priest said, we going out. But king, set king, on the meat. set on the meat. Set on the meat. And make ready the wine. You get the wine ready. And shut the door but, fast. But, but, but we want you to shut the door. <laughs> That's right. And, and seal it with thine own signet. Seal it with your own signature. And tomorrow when thou comest in. Tomorrow when you come. If thou findest not that Baal hath eaten all if up. You, if you don't find that Baal ate up all this stuff. We will suffer death. Then we'll suffer death. Or else Daniel that speaketh falsely against or us. Daniel that speak against us, hear that. And they little regarded it. Yes. For under the table. Listen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Under. Under the table. The table. They had made a private entrance. They made a secret department. Whereby they entered in continually. The priests will enter in continually. And consume those things. <laughs> Amen. In other words, they made a trap door. <laughs> That's right. The image that they called Baal was there. That's right. But underneath it, right. there was the entryway. That's right. That the king knew nothing about. And all this money being spent on food was laid at the altar of the idol. Right. And them greedy, no good priests. Priests. When the coast is clear, they come through there. That's right. That's the way your preacher do when they take your money. <laughs> when the coast is clear and all the schemes and plots and fake healing meetings and fake prophecies is over. Over. He go right back in that big room and count those trash cans full of millions. That's right. After he get that fifty thousand dollar prayer line mm. and a hundred thousand dollar prayer line and ten thousand dollar prayer line, wake up, world! That's right. I ain't got to have a dime, and I can reach heaven. Amen. Huh? Amen. I said I don't have to have one dime, one dime and I can reach heaven. That's right. Listen at this now. For, for under the table they had under made a private entrance. The table. They had made a private entrance. They made a private entrance. Whereby they entered in continually and consumed those things. Yes, you know they greedy. Greedy. Made a trap door so them old greedy old priests can eat those things. So when they were gone forth, the when king they were set gone meats. Forth, the king set meats before Baal. King set meats before Bell. Now Daniel had commanded his servants to bring ashes. Yes. And though hey, 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 look at the wisdom of Samuel. Yeah. Daniel. Now listen. He commanded his servants to bring ashes. You know why? Mm. Daniel knew if I take ashes, 
and throw them all over the floor, right. it's going to leave footprints. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. That's the wisdom of the Lord of heaven working. That's right. He knew if I get some ashes and spread them all over the floor, I will prove to you that we have some greedy folks sneaking around here. That's right. Come on, son. Now Daniel had commanded his servants to bring ashes. Bring ashes. And those they strewed throughout all the temple. They strewed throughout all the temple. In the presence of the king in alone. In the presence of the king. Then they went out and shut the door. Yes. And sealed it with the king's signet and so departed. And? Now in the night. Uh-oh. In the night. In the night, do you know the Bible says they love darkness because their deeds are evil? That's right. In the night came the priests with their wives and children. Wait a minute. Amen. Viewers, that's what you have. That's right. Family churches. That's right. In the night. The preacher taking the money and spending it on his wife and children. And children. That's how he got that plane and got that yacht. And then he said Jesus told him to do it. The devil out of hell made him do it. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Listen at this. Now in the night came the priest with in their the wives night and children. Came the priest with his greedy wives and his old greedy children. As they went to do and did eat and they, drink up all. Wait a minute. They, they just ate and drank some of it. And did eat and drink up all. Greedy family folk. <laughs> That's right. Just eating up everything. Everything. You always can find partners in crime. Oh, yeah. Starting with somebody in your family. That's right. All right. And as they was wont to do and did eat and drink up all. Yes. In the morning be time, the king arose and Daniel with him. Now, in the morning time, the king this arose. is after the ashes were strolled all around the temple. That's right. The king arose. And Daniel with him. Daniel was right with them. And the king said, Daniel, are the Daniel, seals whole? Daniel, are the seals whole? Daniel, are the seals whole? Is the door bolted? Is everything locked up? And he said, Yea, O king, yes. they be whole. And as, on, and as soon as he had opened the door, as soon as he opened the door, the king looked upon the table. The king looked upon the table. And cried with a loud voice. What? Great art thou, O Baal. <laughs> the <laughs> king had no idea no. about the trap door. He didn't notice the ashes. That's right. The first thing he looked at is what was on the table that they were offered to that dumb idol. That's and right. when he saw the food gone right away, the king did what? Great art thou, O Ben. Oh, hallelujah. And with thee is no deceit at all. Yes, like you folks that go <laughs> to these right. big old false churches, fake healing meetings, the woman with the growing leg, the midget that grow to a giant, <laughs> and someone who don't have no hands that grow fingers. It ain't nothing but a skit, it's a, skit. a act, a circus. That's right. That's right. Somebody told me they went to the church where somebody came who was adjoining twins and the preacher prayed for him and the body separated right in front of everybody and they grew their own their own legs and their own hands. I said, you've been watching Marvel comics. <laughs> That's right. Huh? I know with God all things is possible, That's but right. you can't duke me with that foolishness. No. I, uh, this is written for our learning to wake the blind people up. That's right. Listen at this. Great art thou, O Baal, and with thee is no deceit at Great. all. Now he began to wish up Baal. He That's began right. the king. That's began right. to praise Baal, wish up Baal, because all he noticed, there was no more food. That's right. But Daniel, he began to spoil that joy. That's right. Listen at this. Then laugh, Daniel. <laughs> Glory to God. Then laugh, Daniel. And held the king that he should not go in. Help the king that he shouldn't go in. And said, behold, be, behold, behold, behold now the pavement. Look at the pavement. And mark well whose footsteps are these. Hey, Amen. king, look at the pavement. That's right. Mark well. And I want you to notice. Whose footsteps whose are these? Whose footsteps are these? And the king said, I see the footsteps of men. I see the footsteps of men. Women. Women and children and children and then the king was angry. You know, you know why? <laughs> he <laughs> saw the footprints of the priest's greedy families. That's right. You know, people will go through so much just to deceive others. Oh yeah. This is why, by God's help, we're crying loud. Oh. Human family, you're being used and abused by these false prophets who lost all fear right. and all respect for God that they will resort to tricks. I remember one false prophet years ago, uh, he was on YouTube. He began, he stepped out of the, he said he decided to quit, to quit preaching because he felt convicted. This is after he got rich. <laughs> 
but he began to reveal some of his tricks. Mm -hmm. He pulled out a bottle of some solution and he said, this right here, he said, before I would go out to address my audience, I would take this solution, put it on my head as a cross. Now, when he would put it on his head as a cross, it looked like water. So therefore, nobody in the congregation would see it. Mm. What would happen when he would sweat, it would turn red to make it appear as if the blood of Jesus appeared on his forehead as a cross. I'm Lord. telling you, brothers and sisters, there's all type of methods of deception. There's some use the same solution mm. to put on their hands and you can't see it because it looked like water. And when they standing before the people performing and when their hands start sweating and hold their hands up, it began to look like it got red spots of blood. And people be like, oh my God, oh my God, there's the marks <laughs> of Jesus' crucifixion. There ain't nothing but a uh, solution uh, looking bloody so-called palm hypocrite. That's all. They will resort to low down tactics. That's right. To drag you to hell. That's right. The devil is deceiving the world and dragging them to hell. That's right. And many of you Hallelujah. people out there, amen, that claim you are of God, hold that. Give me Jeremiah mm -hmm. chapter five, 5 and verse 30. Amen. And then after that, go back to Daniel. That's amen. Right. Bell and the dragon. Jeremiah chapter 5. I want to show five. you the condition of God people. Jeremiah, All right, son. Jeremiah chapter 5 and at verse 30. Yes. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. You that are baptized mm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Say you really had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. But you have became so delusional That's right. in your church and so delusional in your worship. No more sound teaching, right. no more discipline, no more strict word of God being preached. Yeah. And when your soul starts to be away from that stuff from a long period of time, you get weaker, That's weaker, right. softer, softer. And now you begin to reject sound doctrine. That's right. It's just like when a true man of God died that helped the Bible strictly. And then somebody come after him that's weak. Yes. Let's say do what you want to do. Preach any old junk. Amen. The next thing you know, he say, well, you don't have to speak in tongue no more. That's right. Some of them that actually had the Holy Ghost because they was focusing on the preacher and not what the word said, they will say, well, all right, I, don't, I ain't got to speak in tongue now. That's right. Then he can say, you don't have to be baptized no more in the name of Jesus Christ. That's for them back there. Right. Before you know it, the people start saying, you don't have to have the Holy Ghost. Preacher come along and said, the Lord is not alone. Mm -hmm. God is not alone. That's right. And there's somebody else with them. With them. And here you've been taught God is alone because the Bible says God is alone. God's alone. That saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, right. and the Lord that maketh all things, that stretch, that stretch forth, the, forth heavens, the heavens alone, alone. and spread it abroad the earth by, by myself. myself. Well, you've been taught that 10, 20, 30, and 40 years. And overnight, a man can come along and tell you, I got revelation. Yeah. God is not alone. And you go out speaking in tongue, shaking off a lie, a, a lie. blasphemous lie against God. Yeah. That's not the Holy Ghost. No. Whenever you stay away from sound, strong, firm, infallible proof that comes from the word of God, yeah. you're just like a child that's away from the discipline of their parents. That's right. You get a child that stay away from the disciplinary rules given by their parents, what's going to happen? That child going to have everything in their apartment. Oh, yeah. They know better. They've been taught better. But they're going to let that man spend the night. They're going to let that woman spend the night. They're going to have house parties. That's right. They're going to start smoking and start drinking and start playing cards and all of that foolishness. Yet they know better. They know better. But because they got away from that atmosphere of discipline, other things enter in right. and choke out what choke truth out been told them. It's the same way among God's people. Oh, yeah. That's why we encourage all the brethren that labor in word and doctrine, stick to the word of God. That's it. 
Huh? That's right. It doesn't matter if somebody says, you pick it on me. Oh, you may as well grow up and come on up to what the Bible says. That's it. Huh? 